In this day and age, a lot of folks are looking for love turn to dating apps, but sometimes the outcome may not be what was expected. No, we are not talking about just finding out you're incompatible. Sometimes what seemed like what could be a fairy tale romance ends up being an abusive nightmare. As part of our Breaking Free initiative airing all this week, our Devin Clark looks into some emerging statistics of abuse between partners who met on dating apps and has the story of one victim who is using her ordeal as a way to warn others. I kept telling him that. I was like, no, like I made it clear. I was like, no, like I am not trying to like do anything with you tonight. This woman who we are not identifying says she and her friend were both sexually assaulted during a double date. She says her friend met her date through Instagram. During their first outing, she says her friend's date invited his friend along so that she could come too. Both my friend and I had like a couple of drinks that they had bought us. She believes the drinks were laced and says by the end of the night, they were both taken back to her friend's date's home and sexually assaulted. He chose to like came, like come and like lay down like right next to me. And then I was feeling really uncomfortable and he like kept getting close to me and like still touching me and like pulling my pants down. Emerging data throughout the country points to a disturbing trend. The nursing team at Brigham Young University in Utah analyzed sexual assault victims medical exam charts from 2017 to 2020 and found that out of 1,968 rapes committed by acquaintances, 14% happened during the first meetup arranged through a dating app. The study shows that victims with mental illnesses and other vulnerabilities were the most targeted and the attacks were significantly more violent. You don't know why, like why people like contact you on like social media apps or like dating apps. Like you, you don't know what the intention is behind it. Because we're so mobile, all of our nurses have everything they need to do an exam with them. Dr. Kara Breeden is the founder and CEO of Texas Forensic Nurse Examiners Forensic Center of Excellence here in Houston. Counseling um, as a service, uh, legal advocacy to help them through the uh, legal process if that's something they're choosing to do. And uh, really innovative, we've started the first um, adult forensic interviewing program. In January, January alone, Dr. Breeden says the center saw 160 sexual assault victims and a little more than one in 10 met through an app or dating site. Proof it's becoming an increasingly common form of meeting people. I think there's a real relationships that are being built through this online communication. Um, and I think it's real. I think people do develop real connections with people. I just think we have to make sure that uh, we know that there, there are definitely risks involved. There is conversations around the new landscape of dating and how to keep yourself safe. And it's unfortunate that it's about how do you keep yourself safe when it really is the perpetration should not happen in the first place. Heather Bellino is the CEO. CEO of the Texas Advocacy Project, which provides free civil, legal, and social remedies for sexual assault survivors. Whether it's through a dating app or not, there are people that are out to do harm. And we as individuals can only do so much to protect ourselves. But Bellino says there are some concrete ways you can try. Make sure that somebody else knows where you're going. You meet in a public place. You spend weeks before you go somewhere alone with your new beau or love interest. She and Dr. Breeden say those looking to date need to understand behaviors that are indicators of future violence. It's all about power and control. And so yes, it can be coercion, it can be belittling, it can be emotional, and then it moves to physical. But advocates say abusers often suppress behaviors they think others could see as red flags. They want victims to know it's never their fault and there is help out there. Blaming yourself for it or you know, just try to like place the blame on yourself as definitely like it's it wasn't your fault. For more information on the resources listed in this story, visit click2houston.com. Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.